Welcome to the Paul Chandler Show, everyone. I'm your host, Paul Chandler. As far as the musculoskeletal system goes with orthopedics, hip replacements are one of the most common procedures performed in the United States. So today, we'll be looking at how we code hip replacements. I know it's fun and exciting, so stay tuned and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show everyone, and today we're going to be looking at how we code hip replacements. Now lucky for us, we're only dealing with five procedure codes on the hip replacement side, and looking at them, they're with the ranges 27, 130 through 27, 138. And with this range here, we have a total of three different parent codes, and the last parent code has two kid codes with it. So looking at the codes first, because the hip replacement, and we know anatomy where the hip is, there are some different terminologies that we have and different amounts of the hip that can be replaced. There's what we have, what's called a partial hip replacement and what's called a complete hip replacement. So looking at the codes, so first we have 27130. Looking at 27130, arthroplasty, Acetabular and proximal formal prosthetic replacement, also known as a total hip arthroplasty, with or without autograft or allograft. So looking at this, the 27-130, this is what we would simply call a total hip replacement. Just kind of breaking it down like that. So that's the key phrase there, that in 27-130, that we're doing the total hip replacement. And what that means is, so what happens in a total hip replacement that so the bones are being removed and the part that connects to the hip itself so our center part of the body it's like this ball essentially that kind of that something goes into the socket and then the bone that comes out the metal part of the socket itself that goes into the hip has a metal part that goes down into the middle of the bone inside the bone so then the bone in your leg for example in your femur they'll cut out inside kind of drill down inside the femur and then you have the circular hip that goes into the socket in your hip and then the metal part comes down and then goes inside the femur so just like if you picture it like you're bearing down a hole down inside the femur and then the metal part like the red marker here just goes right down inside the leg so that if you're looking at the top part of your femur that's the bone from your knee to your hip you're really looking at the bone itself because buried inside is that metal part. So 27130, that's what we call the total hip replacement. And notice though it also says with or without autograft or allograft. So with or without, doesn't matter if we do it or not, but remember that terminology, auto, A-U-T-O, yes, that means car or you know, driving around I-4 or whatever interstate you're looking at, but auto, as far as grafting means from the patient. So auto, A-U-T-O, from the patient, and then allo, A-L-L-O, graft, means it's coming from one other human. So no matter when we're having the total hip replacement done in 27-130, so it doesn't matter if the provider is also doing an allo graft, moving a part of a bone from a different part of the patient to the hip, or taking a bone from a donor patient and adding it to the patient as well. So with that, and I mean, yes, I personally think that if a doctor does anything, they should get paid for it. But in this case though, if the doctor adds an additional bone, no extra reimbursement there. But that's not required though, just if we do it or not. So after we have the 27-130 for the total hip replacement, 
Then we have the 27, 132. And with that code, conversion of previous hip surgery to total hip arthroplasty, again, with or without autograft or allograft. So with this part, now if we're coding a 27, 132, since it says conversion from previous hip surgery to total hip replacement, the documentation for today's surgery, if we're doing the total hip replacement today, better list some kind of hip surgery that was done in the past. Because if no surgery was done in the past, then how can we convert it to a total hip surgery today if there's nothing done in the past on it? So on this one, this is a conversion from the past surgery to today, we're doing a total hip replacement. So you can look at it and really 27-130 and 27-132. Both of those are total hip replacements. The only difference is 27-130, no history of a hip surgery being performed. While 27-132, there in the past, there is mention of a hip surgery being performed. Obviously, it didn't take or it didn't work as much as it needs to. So then today, they're coming in and doing that total hip replacement. But then going on a little bit though, then we have 27-132. Is the last one for the conversion, but then we have the 27-134 as I should have just said. That is the next parent code on the total hip replacements. Now with this though, notice it says revision. 27-134, revision of total hip orthoplasty, both components with or without autograft or allograft. Again, doesn't matter if we're adding the extra bone from the person, the patient, or a donor patient. But here we're doing the revision to a total hip orthoplasty. So again, if, they're, if we're revising something, in the past, there had to be something done before. So there, there was something done in the past and it doesn't work. So we're doing a total hip today, the total hip arthroplasty, but we're doing both components. And notice though the parent code 27134 just says both components and that's it. But okay, what are the components? <laughs> so, and for the board stage here, I'm gonna separate these out and we're gonna look at the kit codes. So we have 27137 and 27138. Both of these are the kit codes to the 27134 parent code. I'm just gonna write them over here on the left side of the board. So 27137, how that is the acetabular component only. So those are the two different components. One of them is the acetabular. And I know it's kind of funky when we're saying it, but if we look at it, ACE, A-C-E, tabular, T-A-B-U-L-A-R. So kind of put it together, acetabular. So the acetabular only, only on that component, is what we're revising or we have the femoral component and that will be for 27 138. So then is it looking at the, ter the terminology here? What we mean by the acetabular component that is like I said earlier let's say here's your hip and you have that circular, kind of, kind of feel like a soccer ball or a football, depending if you call that a, what we call a soccer ball, kind of cut in half. So it's like a, a dome, like a circular dome. That part that goes into the hip, that's the acetabular component. The round part that goes into the hip socket itself. And then the femoral component, that's the part earlier where I had, let's say here's the acetabular, the round part. And then we had the metal part that went down into the femur, how then the doctor will kind of bury down, drill down a hole into the femur, put the metal component in there. So then all around it, it's like this. So my fingers are here are the femoral bone and the femoral component, the metal part is inside the femur bone itself. So when we're looking at the different amounts of the components here. So we have the 27-130 total hip replacement, how that is the acetabular and the femoral prosthetic part. 
replacement for the total hip replacement. We have 27132, the conversion. The patient had a previous hip surgery. Whatever procedure that was, either didn't take or it was not enough work to fix the hip. So then they take that previous work and they convert it today into the total hip replacement or the revision of the total hip replacement. So something was done in the past and they have to go in and revise it. So they have to go in and fix it. So if we're going in to fix both items, 27134. If we're going in fixing the, the round part, the round ball part that goes into the hip socket and the metal part that goes into the femur, both those together are 27134. Or if it's just that middle ball socket part, what we call the acibular part only, 27137, that goes in. Or if we're only revising the metal part that gets buried into the femur, the 27138. So you kind of think of it as that if it's the first total hip replacement the patient's getting, nothing has ever been done in the past in itself, 27130. If the patient had a previous hip surgery, not a hip replacement, just something else first, maybe less invasive, see if it works, then it doesn't take, then they upgrade it to a full total hip replacement. That's the 27132. If they're going in and revising it, as in something didn't work in the past, a hip replacement, and they have to go in and change it a little bit, they have to replace out both the metal part that goes in the hip and the femur metal part, the 27134. If they're just going in just to fix the metal part that goes into the hip, that type of replacement, 27137, or just the femur part, the part that goes down to the bone there, the femoral only, 27138. Again, so looking at here, we have the five different codes, just breaking it down. Are we doing all of it for the first time? Are we doing an upgrade of a past procedure to currently? Or the last three codes, are we revising a previous one to how it is to today? And that's, we only have five codes, but again, this is one of the types of procedures where we're looking at was a different hip type of procedure, a hip replacement done in the past, yes or no? And then also today, how much are we doing? What different parts, the acidula part and or the femoral part on the hip replacement as far as the coding on it? Again, so just five procedure codes and that's it for the total hip replacements. And coming up on, the, on a future, on a couple episodes down the road of the show, we're actually be looking at an actual neat total hip replacement surgery on the Pedzilla. And just so you know, that it's not gonna be an animated video, it'll be actual live video of a procedure. So if you're a little bit mm, kind of woozy on it, have some Sprite, have some nausea, whatever you want, because it's actually a really awesome procedure. And that way then as coders and auditors, we can have a look at what the doctor's doing during the procedure and see how it compares to when we're simply reading an op report on a screen or on a piece of paper. And that's all of us here from the Paul Chandler Show from the cast and crew. We do thank you for watching this episode on coding total hip replacements and live long and do good and prosper.